In this video, you'll learn about milkweeds and see monarch butterflies using it. Milkweeds have received a lot of attention, both good and bad. You'll learn more about its value as a wildlife plant, the negatives that have led to its mass killing, and tips for using it as an attractive addition to your landscape. You probably know milkweed is critical for the long-term survival of migrating monarch butterflies. Monarchs nectar on a variety of flowering plants, including this common milkweed. But more importantly, the monarch caterpillar exclusively needs milkweeds as a host plant food source to mature. There are many native milkweed species across North America that host monarchs. Host plant means that your plant will be eaten not just by monarchs, but by some other beautiful milkweed insects too. So be willing to accept that some plants won't look perfect and tidy. I never saw what ate these leaves. They just disappeared. We also have swamp milkweed and butterfly weed in our yard. These are closely related to common milkweed, but each plant has different habitat needs for moisture, soil, and sufficient sun to survive and thrive. Butterfly weed is a beautiful ornamental plant, but it works best planted as part of a plant community mix. The slender, open, and somewhat lax growth habit lends itself to weaving in and around other companions. As part of a community, they take center stage while in bloom and later recede into the background. Swamp milkweed is appropriately named and loves the consistently moist soil of our bog. It's also very attractive in bloom, quite garden worthy, and full of pollinators. But like butterfly weed, is still best suited in a plant community. Our initial single plant has self-sown into an existing community with drier conditions. We have lots of common milkweed in our meadow. I purposefully seeded it, and over time it is spread and grows in patchy areas. When blooming, it looks like it dominates these patches, but during the rest of the season, its big leaves add a nice contrast to other equally aggressive plants that it grows with. Common milkweed is a favorite of ours because of its extravagant flowers with huge perfume. If only you could smell video, because the aroma from the gigantic floral scent of these plants is intense. No wonder all the pollinators find it. Here's common milkweed as the flowers start to fade. Only a small portion develop into seed pods. The pods are used by seed bug milkweed specialists for raising their young. And then as the pods dry and mature, the windborne seeds emerge in the fall. It's great fun watching the pods open and the seeds disperse. So with abundant seeds, easy self-sowing, and the aggressive nature of milkweed, why has milkweed declined to the detriment of monarchs? Habitat loss plays a role, but it is this aggressive nature of milkweed and its ability to outcompete agricultural crops that has led to its widespread killing with herbicide. As you can see, the yellowed plants dying on the edge of this cornfield and milkweeds are poisonous to livestock. This rural grassy field left unmowed is providing a source of late summer milkweed for migrants, but the field is not usable to the owner as a hay field. So do your part to help monarchs and plant some milkweed in your yard. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the Gardens for Wildlife channel. You can also visit our website and blog at www.campbelllandscape.com.